Welcome back, my people. I think my pants are undone. Okay, no, they're not. Oh my gosh, it has been a minute. Now, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that two things happened over the last few weeks. Uh, number one is I started a new job, which I'm so excited about. It's been really great. Um, so I've been in all day training. So I work remote, um, actually in the technology space. So I have been just like overwhelmed, not overwhelmed, but just my time has completely been taken up over the last couple of weeks. And then if you follow me, you also know that I um, was really sick. I got like this cold that's been going around recently um, and I get really bad allergies. Um, I don't know about you guys, but um, I've always had really bad allergies since I was like 16 and um, usually whenever I get a cold it turns into a sinus infection so not to give you guys TMI but um, yeah so I was on antibiotics for a little bit and now I'm back healthy happy and here to talk to you guys about probably one of the items I get most questions about is the Louis Vuitton business card holder and a lot of you've asked me to compare it to the Chanel uh, classic card holder as well and I myself when I first unboxed this for you guys I didn't initially think it was going to be a complete replacement for this one I actually wanted something smaller that could fit into my more compact bags so if you're interested in hearing about uh, these two in comparison, what I love, what I don't, um, about each one, stay tuned for the video, but I'm just so happy to be back. Okay, so let's get started with basics. So I got this Chanel card holder probably six months ago I want to say and I had always seen it on Instagram it's pretty hard to find I feel like it's a popular one it's the caveat leather with the gold hardware on it and this one I wanted because it has a front compartment and I'll know how to do this well guys can't see this I will include close-ups but it comes with a card holder in the front and then it's got one gusset that opens pretty wide in the middle um, it looks just like a black hole you guys can see that um, and then one card slot in the back so it has the ability to put something in the back if you wanted to put a little bit of cash back here and then a front card um, flap which I actually put my driver's license in here when I use this um, and then everything else fits in the back and you just open it, it clips closed. Um, but the reason why I wanted to find something different was because I have the mini Capucines, I have the super mini Gucci, I have the um, Pochette Accessoire, and I wanted something less puffy. I don't know if that makes sense, but this wallet is stunning. It has this like really puffy quilting on it. And overall, when you put cards in it, it gets pretty thick. Um, it's not the world's most compact wallet. It's pretty compact though, and I love it. But, you know, it's Chanel, and I wanted something that I felt I could rough up a little bit. And I don't mean like destroy or anything, but when I'm stuffing it into small bags, I just worried that it would get scratched or the quilting would get damaged or the hardware would get really scratched up. So I wanted something that was a little less delicate. So then comes in the Louis Vuitton business card holder. Now I made a video on this. I think this is my last video on it being Louis Vuitton's best kept secret. And I will tell you why I still stand by that. It's the price point. This wallet has the same functionality as this and i'll walk you guys through what makes it different but it's half the price i think this retails for like 350 or 360 and this one is like 650 or 675 so for a similar style style wallet with beautiful embossing on it 
just really well done. Um, you know, the touch of gold at the front. It was a great option for me. And it's only got one pocket in this pocket in the back. No, it doesn't just have one pocket, but it has the main pocket doesn't come out as far, um, which allowed it to be less cumbersome when I put it into a bag. So at its smallest, it's that thin. And at this one smallest, it's that thick. Now I'm being like nitpicky, right? Like this is still a compact wallet. Trust me, I sound crazy, I know, but I want something that um, could get stuffed into bags a little bit more easily without me worrying about it getting scratched. And I am a huge fan of the Louis Vuitton Empreant leather. I have the on the go in Empreant, I have the bum bag in Empreant, and I am not very gentle with those bags and they still look beautiful. So I am very confident that this is gonna stand the test of time. I think that was thunder. I wonder if you guys can hear that. Okay, so basics on this one are it has a snap closure like the Chanel. When you open it, it actually does have a front little pocket, like a little slot in the front, and then a compartment where you just put cards in. And I really like that. Oh, I guess I still have the the card thing in here. I like it because I still do the same thing. I put my ID in the front, easy access. If you're going you know, out for dinner or you're going to a bar and you just wanna grab your ID out, it's right there in the front. You don't have to go searching for it. Um, and it actually turns out that like all the cards that I wanna carry with me fit in here really well. So I've just been grabbing this more. Um, I think it's nice to have two options that I wear, I will wear like quite often. So, I mean, really that's it. It's super, super similar in size. Um, the width, like I said, it's a little bit more hefty on the, um, on the Chanel one, just because the way it's shaped uh, for cards to fit in, it has to push out a little bit, but still both are amazing. I'm not, gonna sell it either one. Um, but I did wanna show you guys like how much fits in each. So I know this isn't super, super comparable, but it pretty much is. I brought a bunch of business cards um, to show you guys like how much it fits. But honestly, the Louis Vuitton one, when you put cards in there, you can fit a lot. Like it stretches a little bit more than you would think. I could probably fit all these in here, let me see. Okay, maybe not all of them. But it's nice that you can actually stick a few cards in the front slot as well. Oops, I left the little thing in there. Um, and super easy access for everything. So um, I would say for the Louis Vuitton one. I would say that is probably how much I would fit in there. Um, you could definitely fit some um, some cash in there as well, but it just has these two pockets and it works really well. So if I take the same amount out this much in there and I put it into the Chanel card holder, it looks like this. So it kind of spreads it out a little bit more, but it's hard because these these leather slots, um, slits on the side, they have to bunch in to close properly. So that's how much is in there. I'm gonna take the Chanel authentication card and I'm gonna switch it out for what I put in the front of the LV one. It's empty now and I'm gonna put that right in here. So, that is in there and as you can see it's expanded a little bit more but i think it looks cute and then you could always put like cash in here um i don't know i've been weird about putting cash in my wallets now i only keep cash in my round coin holder because i don't know if you guys feel the same way i just feel like money is really dirty and 
like I never know if it like smells bad. Like I'm just scared now. I'm traumatized a little bit. Um, I had like smelly money in one of my wallets and I had to like clean it out. I just like, felt weird about it. So I try not to put cash into these ones. I'll put it maybe in my canvas ones instead. But yeah, so that's what it looks like. It looks a little different than this. I feel like it's about to storm here. So I apologize guys if you're hearing like some ominous thunder. But yeah, so once again, the Chanel card holder looks like this with everything in it. And I'll try to be like the back shot for it. Looks like that. And then when you have everything in there, it looks like this. Now you can see. Okay. So I'm gonna once again, take everything out of the Chanel one and put it into the LV one. I can't get over this thunder right now. And that is what it looks like. So I feel like it's much more compact in the LV one. And when you open it, it just looks so like much like so much less is in there than in the Chanel one. So exact same amount of cards, everything um, super compact. And I've honestly been carrying this in every bag that I have right now. So I put it in my cup, mini capucines. I've actually been carrying my mini capucines and my pochette accessoire the most recently. Um, and I'll probably just make a video as to like what my most used bags are recently because I think it's funny like as the seasons change and as the activities that we're doing change, like your bags change. So it's fun to see like what I'm grabbing more. Um, but yeah, honestly, I've been using this one so, so much. So, you know, give me your guys' thoughts on this. Um, still, both are great quality items. Um, I think this is obviously, the Chanel one is, is a classic. I feel like a lot of people love it and it has that classic look. But the Louis Vuitton one is just really well made. It's one piece of leather and it's, just like very understated and simple and compact. So I really, I can't say anything bad about either. There are some pros and there are some cons, but you know, I think you can't go wrong. I mean, really obviously the pro for this one and probably the reason why if I had to like pick one or the other is the price. And it's just really well made for the quality and for the look and the style of it and for how long I plan on keeping it. It's just a great price. Like this is half the price of this, um, but it holds just as much, maybe even more than this one. Just practicality wise, this might be my favorite. This I love looking at. Um, and I definitely think it's a classic, classic one, but I just like, I'm a functional person. I have to gravitate towards the items that I can actually wear versus the ones that sit on the shelf. and. If you guys watched my Chanel boy bag video, breaking up with a boy bag, like you know how much I love that bag and how much I love to look at it, but I wasn't grabbing it because I was just afraid of the leather and how it was getting scuffed. And for me, it's just sad to see a beautiful bag sitting on the shelf and not using it. I just love bags so much. So I kind of feel the same way. You know, it's great to have it. It's you know, nothing that is just sitting there. I can still use it, but I'll definitely be grabbing this one way more. So hopefully this is helpful for you guys that are looking at maybe one or the other, or you've had your heart set on this one just because you think it's the most functional one. But now you know about this one and that you know it, it holds just as much, maybe even more in a more compact silhouette. But yeah, these are my two favorite card holders right now. And that's it. So I appreciate you guys hopping in for today's video. I promise to post some more. I'm actually, I've been itching to get back to making some more videos. It's really hard when you lose your voice and you can't breathe and all of that. So um, I'm just excited to be back and I'll probably film a vi another video like right after this. I have like so much to catch up with you guys on. Um, 
I got a new vintage bag and I'm gonna talk to you guys about that. So yeah, stay tuned for my next videos. But until then, thanks for watching guys. <laughs>